Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. Myself, Chuvita. In this video, uh, I'm going to explain you about how to create, you know, job search and cover letter generation automation with the help of NITEM. I'm pretty much sure you people are excited about NITEM. What is it, how it works, and how to do a project using NITEM. So in this video, I'm just excited uh, to show this project. Along with that, I'll just make you understand what exactly is an NITEM. So firstly, let's start with introduction to an item, and then we'll start with implementation of a project. Well, what if you could connect all your favorite apps and automate a boarding task without writing a complex code? What if same platform could even help you build AI-powered agents? So that's where, you know, an item comes into picture, and that an item makes it possible, like, you know, connecting with different apps and repeating tasks uh, without doing multiple times, you can just automate that. Along with that, you can also integrate, you know, uh, AI models to do your task. So that's an interesting thing about an N item. Let's explore what is it, why we use it, and what are the different components of N item. So firstly, N item in the sense, it's an open source workflow automation and agent building tool that helps you connect applications. It's an open source anybody can use and it's used for workflow automation. Whenever you want to do any task repeatedly, you can just make use of NITEM and you can automate that. And you can use different agents like AI models to perform a different task. And that helps in connecting with different applications, APIs, and also services into powerful automated workflows. You all might have a question like why we use an NITEM? What's the reason? One of the reason is it's open source and self-hostable. It's like more flexible, privacy-wise, and no vendor lock-in. You can use that for free. No code and low code. So basically, we are all struggling in order to write a programming, in order to do any particular task, right? But you can use an item. You can use a very simple coding, or you can try building a project without using a coding. So that's an interesting thing about you know, uh, an item, no code. Workflows can be built with the help of an item. And then AI powered, if you have done a React project and if you have built certain H20K projects, you might be seeing like you have to use so much code and you have to use a different models to perform a different task. But with the help of this N item, you can connect with different AI agents like OpenAI, Jimmy, Claudi, and many more to perform a different task. And we have a pre-built templates. It doesn't mean that you need to create everything from a scratch. You can just make use of you know, already available templates and you can adjust according to your requirement. So with that, we can quickly create automations and AI agents with ready to use workflows. That's so exciting. And one more interesting thing about this in item is whenever you do any particular task, uh, you all might have a you know thought like, okay, if I'm fetching a job, I have to store them in a Notion or maybe in a Google Sheet. If I'm fetching any article, I have to send that mail to someone else or maybe to me. So if you want to automate a task, something like this, and if you want to integrate with our different applications, like you know, Notion, Gmail, Google Sheets, Slack, etc. So this NITEM basically offers you integrating with you know almost 500 plus other apps. That's a more exciting and you know interesting thing about an NITEM that you get to know and that you can explore. I'm pretty much sure now you have a question like, what are the different NIT and components? So first thing is like a workflow, uh, where the workflow is a place where you build your complete automation, which is made up of connected steps. You will have a different step. That will be a trigger. You know, it's an uh, automation, right? We all know that we used to use like a cron in order to schedule any task. If you want to run any particular task every day at 10 a.m., usually we used to use a cron and we used to schedule the timing so that that particular task used to repeat every time, right? So instead of using a cron, what you can do, you can just use a triggered node in a in turn, which basically helps you in automating or running your entire workflow or a task at the specified timing. Let's say you say like generate a job and email to me every day at 10 a.m. It will automatically does the task for you. And then we have a notes. Notes are an interesting thing. So here, if we don't write any code, rather we just add a different nodes one by one. Individual step performs a specific task, and there will be our connections in order to link each node. Nodes are basically connected with our links. We call it like a connections. And data, the information that flows and gets processed through the workflow. Let's say from one node to another node, it's always you know passing of information is going to happen. That is like a 
you know a kind of data flow is going to happen and then there will be an editor wherein it's just pretty simple a uh, workflow or a workspace wherein it's all about just drag and drop interface where you can build different nodes you can connect them with a connections and finally you can manage your workflows and if you run your workflow it will automatically trigger and that particular task will get updated at the scheduled time that's an interesting thing about you know in it and i'll be discussing all these components when i explain a project i hope this is clear well this is how you know uh, if you build any workflow this is how it's going to look like this is a workflow and you can see the different nodes right we have a scheduled trigger we have a google new search we have a split out we have a limit we have a edit field we have a message model and then we have a edit field and then and then we have a send a message model right like so these are the different nodes they are connected each other and you can see here this workflow is like a pretty simple okay it is it is fetching you know latest or uh, news articles related to a data science and then it will fetch like hundreds of news articles but you can limit it like how many ever you want so it will get processed it will be sent to the model the model will summarize that article because we are all busy in reading an entire article so if it summarizes and it will send a email to you every day at specific time so that you can just look into those articles you can see the summarization if you are really busy or else you can look into each uh, you know what i can see each link and you can read like what are the latest technologies or what are the latest innovations that's happening in the real world this is kind of an automation which is like very simple uh, that is built with the help of an editor you can see all the boxes right they're all nodes and you can see the connections every node is connected and when we run this entire workflow so data transformation is happening like data flows from one node to another another node and final end result is going to be the summarized news articles along with that there will be a actual uh, article link wherein you can go and you can read that particular article mm -hmm. so this is how uh, you know init is going to work i hope things are clear now the interesting thing is like you know what are the different applications of init right so you can make a job search automation which automatically finds a job and sends job listing based on your criteria based on our skills based on your requirement along with it you can generate a cover letter you can also automate it as if uh, it generates a cover letter and it will send resume and a cover letter to the respective job and social media post generation you can create and schedule ai powered posts with captions and hashtags it will automatically generate a post every day and it will post it on social media uh fetch latest news and summarize so uh, you can build an automation which collects on news articles and generate a quick ai summaries automate blog generation you can draft format and publish blog post automatically with ai email campaigns send personalized optimized marketing emails to boost engagement like this there are lot many things even you can do your ad project or uh, taking input from user and you know interacting with your model and then producing like result you can also do sentiment analysis and lot many things could be done with the help of init and applications so this is all about you know introduction to init and application next we'll explore you know how to use init and how to launch init and with the help of a uh, uh you know let's use a cloud in it and there are two ways to use an it and one is like using a cloud that is uh through a browser you can launch which is free for 14 days and there is one more you can launch it locally with the help of a docker okay so i'll be showing like how to use an it and uh using an it and cloud uh while creating account while sign in and uh, let me explain what is workflow what is node and also let's try to build an interesting project which is job search and cover letter automation with enagen okay so very first step so what i'm going to do is uh, let's start with yeah so i just want to create you know a uh, enagen account so for that what i'll do is we'll search for enagen enagen workflow <laughs> okay uh or else you can just use enaten.io as well enaten.io yes so you'll get a page something like this yes all right 
So now just click on, you know, or get started because you are starting it for the first time, right? Or if you are signing up for the first time, like if you want to, uh, if you are using anything for the first time, you have to create an account. So you just have to give your full name. So I'll just give like, you know, uh, so with that use company email, I'll just use you can use your own email address no need to use your company email yeah you have to confirm the email again so let me just give my email id okay done then you have to set a password Okay, done. Then account name. Uh, you can give whatever name you want. I'll just give like a Jyotha use it. Okay, like keep up with constant improvement through newsletters. So it will send a newsletter for you. And you can clearly see that since we are using n and Cloud, it's available only for 14 days. Let me just click on start free 14 day trial. Okay, well done. So basically, when you start this, it will ask you for a basic questions. Let's see, like, what's the size of your company? Just me. What team you're on? So let's see, IT. What best describes your company? Uh, let's see, software as service. Uh, which of these tools have you been used before? Actually, none. Um, because you are a beginner, so right? you can see, like, none. And just see like okay how did you hear about anatin like you you can just mention whether from friend youtube linkedin somewhere i just learned it from google i explore from google okay so now it is asking what apps do you plan to use uh you can search like whatever you want or else you can just you just need to select a few things uh i'll just select a google sheet ai trend and Google Gemini, Slack, Telegram. Okay, I'll just say like continue. Anyhow, uh, yeah. Invite team members to your workspace. Like if you are integrating with multiple people, uh, you can invite team members. As of now, I'm going to skip because I'm the only one who is working with this in item. Skip. Okay, done. Your workspace is ready now. Just click on start at a meeting. Okay, it's taking time to launch. Let's wait for it. Yes, so if you are getting this interface, that means you have successfully created an account and you know you have signed up into this NI10. So this is what we call it as you know NI10 Cloud, where you can build your workflows and you can do your automations. Hope it's clear. All right, so now uh, this is an overview. You can see uh, workflows and credentials. You have an option of executions. See, uh, here is a credentials, and this is a workflow. Okay, uh, so basically, now we want to create a new workflow. What do people have to do is just click on this create workflow. So when you click on the create workflow, this is how you get the workflow. This is the workspace where you can start working. Okay, I just want to introduce a few basic stuff uh, like, you know, what is our workflow and along with that, let's explore what are the different nodes. Okay, so that it will be easy for us to build a project. So here basically what I do is, so once you click on a create workflow, you can see here it shows like my workflow, right? So you can just rename that. So let me rename it like, you know, uh, I'll just call it like uh, job search. And cover data generation, right? Okay, that's great. Okay, so workflow has been successfully created. Now, what you can do is here you can see the plus icon, right? This is a place you can uh, where you can start adding different nodes. Just cl click on a plus icon. Just click on a plus icon. You see all the different nodes available. See here. So you can start searching, let's say, uh, if you want to schedule your task at a specific timing, you can just use like a schedule trigger or you have a different types of triggers you can see. If you want to see the AI models, so let me just call it like a AI models. Okay, let me call it like a Gemini model. So you have a Google Gemini. You have a Google Gemini chat model. 
uh, Google Workspace. Similarly, if you go with OpenAI, you can see OpenAI model, OpenAI chat model, Azure OpenAI chat model, and also you have an access to Claudia as well. See, Anthropic uh, chat model. And I said you that you can integrate with 500 plus applications, right? So like if I see like a Gmail, you can connect to a Gmail. If you want to connect with a Google Sheet, see you have a different things you can connect to Google Ad, Google Chat, Google Doc, Google Book, Google Drive, and so many things. Along with that, you can connect to a Telegram. Like if you want to uh, schedule your task and if you want to send the result to the Telegram, you have an access to Telegram. You can also uh, integrate WhatsApp as well. You have a WhatsApp business cloud and many other applications can be integrated with this. Hope this is clear. So pretty much similar uh, and you're not using much of you know coding. Uh, the concept is very simple. So, uh, so far what you discussed was like, you understood an introduction to Inetin and along with that, we studied how to use Inetin Cloud, we just created account, we just launched it and we understood how to create a workflow, we renamed it and we explored how to use a note. And also you have an option to use a credentials. Let's say if you are using an APIs, you have to set a credential. So for that, uh, you need to click on this plus icon and you have to set a credentials. Okay, so uh, so far you have understood how to uh, use a workflow and how exactly the workflow looks like. So next step, let's start with you know how to build a automatic job search and along with a cover letter generation. Okay, 